I am on the adventure, the hunt again for some King George Whitey. Maybe the season has already ended. Maybe they've just gone. I don't know. So I'm just going out here in pretty glass conditions. It's overcast, high tide. Look, perfect conditions. Enough flip up. Let's get some fish. Right, so I'm not going to waste time. Get straight into it. Got some squid tentacles for bait. I will throw out a squid jig to get some fresh squid, but this squid is quite fresh as it is. Paternoster rig. Now this is a modified one. I've actually made it a lot shorter. So it's actually quite compact. So if the fish see it, they can actually see those two red beads um, all in the one sort of zone. If this doesn't work, if it's too close to that bottom sinkhole, if it gets tangled up too much, I'll um, modify it. I think I spoke this soon, the wind's starting to pick up already. So we just got a bit of a hookup. Just curious to see what it is. I'm not going to call it. Oh my god. My god, first fish of the day. I'm not going to call it. Oh, and a kg. Well, that's, that's a bit of an anticlimax. Oh, but, um, <laughs> first fish of the day, first drop, and that's um, probably about a 35 centimeter King George. That's a nice fish. I know they can get bigger, but that's definitely a good table size. It's actually 40, 40, 43 centimeters, so yeah, that's definitely a keeper. But that's all right. <laughs> My God, so this rig worked. Um, I was surprised that there wasn't any butterfish or any other small fish going for it, so that's a good sign. <laughs> I was just getting my other rod, rod ready, so I like using two. I think the conditions are great. It is a high tide, it's overcast. Best way to start a day, I reckon. Target species, bang, I could almost finish the movie. Let's go straight to the cook up bit. <laughs> Don't want me getting cocky. Get a get a squid jig out of here as well, ready. So we're just gonna move over in a bit more inshore and do another drift. <laughs> right, so I've, I, I did have to deploy the sea anchor. Now I've got hookups, nothing grander. Butterfish. Yeah, someone, uh, someone made a comment. So don't want, why don't you keep the butterfish? Keep for bait, crab bait, or even cook up. Look, if I'm going for King George, I'm not going to keep butterfish. I mean, they're okay on the chew, and I'm not going to take those fish home for bait because uh, I think that's actually not good. For, I don't think it's good ethics. I mean, if I catch them and flip them and use the frames, yeah, I'll use that. If I'm just going to catch fish for crab bait, I don't know, I just don't, I don't like that at all. That surprisingly, the wind has picked up a bit. It's not good. I really wanted to have a nice, calm sort of session. So it'll be a bit of work. we pot luck too, because I can't anchor in this spot. Probably further out I can, but... Yeah, right, so with this wind and the drift rate, which I'm pretty, pretty fast, it's probably about 13 knots now, which <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't forecast that. So I'm just going to make this bottom line a lot longer. There you go. I can barely see it, it's sandy, not quite weedy. At this point, I'm just trying to get over the spot if you're just going to drift too far. So it's a matter of just drifting until you find the fish. Not too bad. But the wind's just picking up. Goodness, what do we got here? Flathead. Another flathead and a medium sized whiting. Oh, and that one's taken off too. So we get rid of the flatty. Right. right, so this one's got 
some good curry. <laughs> good weight, I mean. Could be a type of species. Oh, I said two of them for the water. What have we got here? Oh, yeah, two flatheads. Okay. So that tells me I'm just drifting over a fair bit of sand. So let's get rid of these ones. Get back into it. Too small, these ones. Right, this felt a bit strange. Well, you're now starting to run. It's just the one fish, I can see it through the water. Oh no. No, it's no good. But a fish just ripped around the other line, I just threw down. Right, so this one here. I'm not going to call it, but it's not too bad. Big butterfish, I'll tell you what. Big butterfish. So I think I just might use the one rig just to be efficient with my bait and my fishing. Right, so we've got the fish this time. So he's a nice butterfish. Very colourful for the water. Yeah. Oh, big butterfish. There we go. So I will cook this butterfish. No, uh, we'll cook that one up. This one is getting snagged and weed and stuff. So I had a really good bite on this one. Oh. Now this one seems to be okay. But you know it's not butterfish because they just die off on the fight. Yeah, it's a good size one though. <laughs> oh my god. What do we got here? Oh right, yellow tail. Okay. Put a boom boom here. Another big butterfish. Oh my god. Again, he took both baits, both hooks. Caught one on the very first drop. It's almost a bit of a curse because you expect to have a, a few more straight away, but that's not how it works. Oh, well, this is strange. It's probably gone through the weed. I just put in some fresh tentacle on here. And I cast it away from the boat as opposed to under the boat. Okay. That's better. KG whiting. It's not the big stomper one. And that went on for the fresh squid tentacle. Little bit. That's a size one. It's been tough and that's a... Oh no! Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Almost escaped. Yeah, so he's gone to 35. Nice little fish. So the sun's out, which means I can see the grounds a lot better. At the same time, I can see it's right through the water. I can actually see the bottom. Hook up here. I'm going to call it. Fish is always trying to stay at the bottom. The two of them. Okay. Two butterfish. Butter bing fish. So this wind's picked up. I actually wanted to go a bit further out. Further out shore, but I think I might just do a little, one more quick drift in a bit closer, a bit more towards home. There we go, so I've got a nice wheel of whiting here. So I must have uh, come in over to the sandy area. No weed here, so. Sand whiting will be on the menu. It's good to see there's a few around. Putting my hooks a little bit too big for them. But um, yeah, just make sure you always fill in the, the weight and the baits. 
give it a nice yank when you feel the hook. Oh yeah, that's nice. Medium sized whiting. Put in very small bits of bait. Alrighty. That's nice. Big biting butterfish. <laughs> <laughs> Just about to show you the final catch. This rod goes off. Yeah. That one there's going off too. And I've got a nice. Oh, oh, this is running. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> Not bad. That one there's taken off. Alright. Oh. Not bad for a sign off. Woo! That rod there's gone. Off too. Oh, I'm getting bashed and bruised here. And um, yeah, it's been drifting over this real nice weed bed. It's patchy. Okay, that's a false alarm. Butterfish. It's patchy. I like it. Um, and I like that King George. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Now I can show you the the final catch. Oh, where were we before we got disrupted? So the cage I just got now. Let's watch out for those rods. Is this one here? It's probably about a 40 centimetre mark. I'll make sure I play her on. Oh. Oh. Idiot! <laughs> Can't believe it! They're rare as hen's teeth out here. And what happened to me, stupid? <sighs> anyway, <laughs> if he was half dead, he would have come to the service, but he's gone. Bloody idiot! Aaron, what are you thinking of? Are you on? Yep. Yeah. Oh. E-perb right here. Yeah. Good on you. Yeah, it's struggling. Uh, don't tell anyone, but yeah, I got a couple of King George whiting. I lost one. I was showing the camera and it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Thank you very much. All right, quick safety check. Everything's all good. Anyway, so I'll show you the real final catch. <laughs> Two kgs, a handful of whiting, one butterfish, and a yellowtail. Anyway, we'll see you home for the cook-up. Oh man, that whiting, King George, is going to haunt me. I'm just so glad it wasn't the only fish I caught today. Otherwise, I would have been depressed for months. Let's get ready for the cook-up. I just love this King George whiting. Absolute pearl of a fish for the sake of the cook-up. I'm going to be using up this one. I'm going to be using up the butterfish. I don't want to, but I'll just show you that you can actually eat this stuff. <laughs> so here we go. Let's get into it. So there's the fish. King George whiting. That's the sand whiting. And that's the butterfish. So the flesh doesn't look too bad. Um, it's a bit more softer than these other whiting species, but we'll, uh, we'll do the cook-up anyway. Really simple. Some self-frozen flour. I haven't got much fish. I don't need to have a lot of a batter. Self-frozen flour, a bit of salt. It's windy too. So when you cook outside, it's a bit more of a challenge. 
I like to put some oregano in here. You can put anything you want. Onion salt, you can put garlic salt, anything. And just a bit of beer. I want a lighter sort of batter, so I don't mind if this is running. Then if, again, if it goes thick, <laughs> I'll have a thick one. Right, so that's actually gone a bit too thick to my liking. And I'm just going to get some uh, flour. Ideally, you put it into a bag or even into a plate. Again, I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm in the rush today, <laughs> as per usual. So just get all that all done up. I usually put these in the oven. Oh, maybe I should have. Ooh. So yeah, the oil is hot. And uh, if I had put the fish in there, it probably would have burnt it by now, so that's fine. Let the oil cool down a bit by these, <laughs> by these chips. Any time when you catch fresh fish, it's time to celebrate and cook it up fresh at home. This is the life. I think these chips are done. Let's chuck them here so we can get back into the real, the real cook up. Let's add in a bit more juice. Ran out of beer, so I had to get into the sparkly prosecco. That's better. Yeah, that's way too thick. That's gonna be better. Mmm, nice taste too. Mmm. Let's put the sand whiting in next. A bit more thinner fish. There we go. When you put them in the oil, we sort of like do that so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Oh yeah, uh, it's looking lovely. So I think I'll take off the butterfish. Whew. Look at that, beautiful. And he's whiting. Put them over here and just get the King George whiting in amongst it too. Trying to enjoy the outdoors before the winter sets in. Full stop. Right. Oh yeah. Absolutely delightful. This is the smaller King George whiting. The big one I'll probably have to cut into two or three pieces to fit into the pan. That's a pretty good. <laughs> the pumpkin soup getting ready too. That's all right. Let's have a look. Now nah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So let's put the fish over here. King George whiting, whiting, and the butter fish right here. Chips. A different plate. I'm actually going to taste the. Stop by like on the camera. I'm just going to taste this big butterfish with some uh, with some lemon juice on it. I haven't got any fresh lemons, believe it or not. So just like that, massive butterfish. Haven't had butterfish for for quite some time. Pretty good. Look at that. Fish. Tucker, fish, tucker, fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, the fish, tucker, man.